Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dane here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can make the best augment in the game even better. If you guys are brand new and want to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to hit 3.5k. Also, drop a like on this video as YouTube really appreciates it to push into other people's recommended. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, one of the fan favorite perks from Black Ops 4 Zombies was a perk called Dying Wish. And if you're familiar with Black Ops 4 Zombies, they got rid of Jug, Speed Cola, and Double Tap. Uh, Quicker Vive stayed, but... They got rid of those three uh, core perks, and one of the biggest replacers of Juggernaut was a perk called Dying Wish. Now, what Dying Wish did is, if you were to die, so if a zombie hit you and then you were to die, instead of dying, you get put to 1 HP, and then you are immune from damage for a couple of seconds. Now, Dying Wish has not been seen since Black Ops 4 Zombies, and it was extremely OP, extremely broken, and it is back in Black Ops 6 Zombies through the Augment system. With Quick Revive, the best augment that you can unlock, or like the final augment that you unlock for major augments, is called Dying Wish, and it is exactly the way that it sounds. It is the old Dying Wish perk from Black Ops 4 Zombies, where instead of dying, instead of dying, if you were to die, you get put to 1 HP and you get immune from fault from damage for a couple of seconds. Now, you only have three uses of it uh, each game, and what happens is, when it activates, you lose Quick Revive. And then in the bottom of your screen, it will say Dying Wish uses remaining blank. And then it'll say uh, two or one because you originally have three, then you lose it, then you have two, then you have one. Now, the way that you fix this, this is post the November 1st patch, is simply just save and exit, come back, and you'll have max Dying Wish again. So what happened was is that I had three, I downed purposely, or not downed, but I used Dying Wish purposely. It said I had only two left, so I bought Quick Revive, ended the round, saved and quit, came back, downed, per, or uh, got Dying Wish purposely, and it said two again because it reset back to three. So all you gotta do is save and exit, and it will reset it. Every time you save and exit, it resets your Dying Wish. This is extremely broken, and you guys definitely should be doing this. There's two parts to this video. The second part is going to be a much deeper part. It is currently double XP, double weapon XP, and double Gobble Gum rate weekend. Um, so of, of course a lot of you guys are probably already grinding XP, but I made a mistake in my last video telling you guys to exfil on round 21 because back in Cold War Zombies, there was a huge XP fall off past round 21, 26, 31, like you did not get any XP past those rounds. Whether or not they updated it in the patch on November 1st, I'm not sure. I think it's always kind of just been like this. Um... A guy named Donuts uh, posted a video, and he has a whole spreadsheet. Uh, if I remember, I will link the video. And he broke it down, and the XP per minute is the same round 15, round 20, round 25, round 30, round 35. Basically, XP does not fall off. The only thing that will fall off is the fact that you're killing less zombies as quickly because they have more HP, etc., etc. But don't exfil on round 21 just because you think there's no XP past that point. Um, for double XP weekend, I am currently in a Liberty Falls game on round 55, and my XP gain is the exact same as it was at the start of the game, apart from the fact that I'm killing zombies a lot less quick. Um, so the two strategies right now to go for high rounds and get XP fast is there is the communications room on Terminus. There's the communications room on Terminus. This is this is actually quicker than Liberty Falls, but the Liberty Falls uh, strategy is better, and I'll, I'll tell you guys why. But you basically just stay in this in this communications area, and you can use mutant injections, you can use your, your ARs, you can do whatever you want, and it's good. It's bless. It's good XP, good headshots. Now on Liberty Falls, what you want to do is instead of opening the door to the left, you want to keep that closed, go to the right, go all the way around, go to the bowling alley, and then go inside, or outside rather, uh, right by where that vending machine is where you do that, uh, you know, that fun little Easter egg. Don't open that door, but instead camp there, and that is your high round strat. This is the highest horde per second HPS, and... The better thing about Liberty Falls than Terminus is that on Terminus, you'll still have to deal with Manglers, you'll still have to deal with Abominations. However, um, in this Liberty Falls, you do not have to deal with Abominations because they will not attack you unless you go outside of the bowling alley to the other uh, parts of the map, then you'll have to deal with Abominations. You will still have to deal with Manglers, of course, but that's why Mutant Injections are so good. Um, there are a few people that are wondering what the high round strat is now because if you guys don't know what the November 1st patch did make it so you can't get Mutant Injections uh, or Score Streaks at all if you kill uh, if you kill manglers or abominations with a score streak, they won't drop st uh, score streaks. AKA, you use a mutant injection, you can't farm mutant injections. Now, um, 
This does nerf the strategy a bit, but you do get tons of salvage. You can still buy mutant injections. You do get loot keys. You can get them from that. Um, and, uh, and at the end of the day, you can just train in the bowling alley and you can use your knife if you want or use your jet gun. Jet gun is unlimited damage, guys, so you can use that. Um, but in terms of cheesing with mutant injections, it's a little harder to do that. But I guess uh, Treyarch wanted to do that. They also did just update it. So the highest round used to be 256. They just changed it to 999, which I really don't know how anyone's going to get to that round without doing like trap strats or something. Um, but still super cool. If you guys learned something new in this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Like I said, I'm trying to hit 3.5k um, as soon as possible. And I know you're watching for me recommended. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed because I'm just a guy uh, in his dorm room making videos and I, I love it. So anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.